Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your daily dose. We are back here obviously in celebration, but Casey and I are back together for in a vlog for the first time in like, I feel like a week. We're gonna do date night in celebration. We're gonna bring you with us. There's actually food trucks downtown celebration. So we kind of just wanted to do that and just enjoy our town because we don't, we, we kind of realize we don't really take you downtown too much. And we kind of want to start doing that. We love, we love celebration and we're so happy to uh, be filming a video here. Welcome to your daily dose on the weekend. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. I got to change my shirt. I don't know if I'm going to keep this hat on, but a few things to note. My nose, it's feeling a lot better. I don't know what happened on the cruise ship. I think I got bit by something and then like I was bleeding right here. Like it was a nose piercing, but after like a day or two, it's, been feeling better so we're we're doing good and um, got an exciting week here in Florida I hope you guys are ready but I hope you guys are ready to kind of just hang with us tonight and enjoy celebration because we don't really know what we're ultimately doing besides the food trucks something unfortunate just happened to Casey I'll tell you Casey's curling getting ready she's curling her hair putting her makeup on so from time to time, I don't know what's going on with our, uh, our packages. Sometimes we lose packages, like it says it's delivered, but it's not. And she had makeup delivered that said it was delivered, but it's not here. So unfortunately she's gotta use her old makeup. She was looking forward to putting her new makeup on today, but we'll see if that ever shows up. I don't know. It's really weird. I don't know if we have package thieves. Which I don't think so because I think this was dropped off at like our P.O. box type area and we have cameras out front and we didn't see anything so missing package. So here's the reason why I don't think it was stolen at least not at our front door because we have cameras. Nothing here. But the thing is it wasn't even dropped off there. In, in Wisconsin we get like our postal mail and like a mailbox but here in Florida there's like these community mailboxes that we have to walk to and, and go get essentially kind of like a P.O. box. And that, there you go, I'm cool. Hello, garage. It's like a block away from my house over here. There's only two things that could have happened. One, they marked it as delivered and they didn't deliver it. Or two, they delivered it and maybe the package person stole it. I don't know. Instead of a stolen package, maybe it's actually like a missing package. Also, this is kind of like the community I live in. It's very quiet. These are the apartments that I used to live in too. So it's kind of cool seeing where I actually used to live for the first time by myself. I really love celebration, even though I do also love Windermere. Windermere is another good, good town city. So this is where we pick up the mail. There's no key inside, it said it was delivered and dropped off. So I don't really know what is going on at all. Oh, here's a look at our pool too. So nice. I'm kind of hoping they didn't put a key in like the wrong person's mailbox. Unfortunately, it's not here. Now we have an open case, a Casey case. We gotta solve this case. I don't know if we're gonna be able to solve it though. We have ourselves a missing package case for Casey. So it says it's delivered and then it's in a locker. It's from Sephora. So if anybody knows what to do or have had this experience, let us know down below. Cause apparently it was a big order with uh, you know, a lot of makeup, so probably high up there in price. So this is really close, just realizing. But there's no way that we can report it missing, so hopefully it comes on Monday. Also, speaking of Monday, actually I think this would be on Tuesday's video. So I'm thinking about, I'm just, you know, I'm always brainstorming different ideas and different types of uploading. Sorry, I'm just gonna unload this on you guys before we go to downtown celebration. But um, I kinda had an idea. Now this is more of a YouTube type algorithm deal and I just wanna see if it works because I feel like I got some wiggle room this room where I can kind of do some testing. And what I'm kind of thinking is, which I think I'm gonna do it, is I'm gonna compile all my Disney Wish videos that I filmed and put it all in one video making it the longest vlog ever on the Disney Wish and just to see how it, how it honestly does. I'll let you know the day before I do that but it's kind of like a YouTube test, just to see how, see how it does. And that would be like the day vlog as well. So I wouldn't have a video besides that. I don't know, just testing some things. Changing it up. Anyways, let me get ready. Do, do, do. Oh, do, do, do. Now this isn't really like a 
fancy type date night. Casey and I just haven't really done downtown celebration in a while. And we haven't really brought you guys in a while. We're excited to see these food trucks to see what it's all about. And I think there's also like something else going on there too that we want to discover. Ooh, I want to wear this. This is the shirt that I brought on the cruise. I love this shirt. If you've been watching me over the years, I've slowly transitioned from super dry to shore at Disney Springs being my favorite store to shop at. Like this, I just love like the feeling of this because A, it's not cotton, it's athleisure. And like all super dry has is like winter wear that I can't really buy. And they have summer wear very rarely and it sells out quick and they never restock. So I've kind of transitioned to shore. I love their shirts. They're amazing, they're perfect for the weather. Actually, my whole outfit right now is short. These are their like swim trunk type shorts you can wear as regular shorts too. Casey, can I wear this? Um, I would say that doesn't really match. Colors, yes, but I think that these shorts would look better with more of a solid color shirt. I think this looks great. Then if you love it, wear it. Really? I mean, if you love it, but... I'm ready to go. Also, here's the new, oh! Time out, one thing, one last thing before we leave. Listen, I know my life is online, so I kinda gotta show you all this stuff. Well, I mean, I don't have to, but I kinda want to show you. We uh, we bought something. And the reason why we bought it is because these flowers haven't been looking really the best. I thought that the, the sprinkler system that I had would be able to take care of the flowers, but no, we had to buy a hose. Look at this. Bought a hose. This is going to be eventually the hose that we use for the, the car wash because this is kind of like a a cheap hose off Amazon. It's like rubber. I feel like it can break really easily. Um, so I'm going to get something a little bit different. But watch this. Watch what happens. This is what I mean by a cheap one. Watch this. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. So that's that. But I did think I, th I solved the issue and the flowers should be should be growing. And I also was um, sitting on my my porch the other day and I didn't know that Florida actually has hummingbirds. I saw like a hummingbird come and, you know, do what hummingbirds do. Try to get a picture, but it zoomed off. Last but not least, I hope you guys enjoyed that cruise series. It performed okay. I feel like a lot of people are on spring break and April and May are kind of always like down months on YouTube, but thanks for tuning in for those who did. All I gotta say is what ka chow wow! Thank you. Hey, see. I'm, I'm so pumped for today. It's Food Truck Friday. Casey looks fire, but what do you have in your hand there? What do you, what do you got? The key <laughs> to the mailbox. I wanna, I wanna check again. You know, third time's the charm. Maybe my package will be there. It's okay, we'll get it eventually, but. It's so sad, you know when you're expecting a package all day and it's like it's something you're looking forward to and then it just... You know the sad thing is that it was actually supposed to deliver tomorrow and today when I checked I was like, oh my gosh, it's out for delivery already. So then it like, it was like a false sense of hope. While I was gone, Casey actually went down to Boca and she got this new shirt there. Mm -hmm. I okay. actually noticed, I was like, whoa, what did you get that from your <laughs> sister? That is nice. Like, cause she just got clothes from her sister. Yeah. yeah. Um, I got it from Brandy Melville. I was I was excited. I've only ever been to one place in Melville, and it was in San Francisco. Funny enough, I remember back like years and years ago. I was still in high school. Um, I took my family on a little little sidetrack road trip. You know, we had to go find Brandy Melville. I think we walked like five miles to go get to Brandy Melville. Good times. I've never been to Brandy Melville, but we both had our own trips. Mm -hmm. She yeah. um, it was kind of by design. But the, the reason why she ultimately couldn't come is. You know she works on Friday and Monday, so mm -hmm. she just took her weekend trip. And yeah, I, I took my trip. I took the Bright Line down on Friday night after work, um, and it was super nice. They have a stop in Boca. I think it took me what, like two and a half hours, something like that. And then um, just left. What? What you doing? I broke my nail very bad. Very bad, like very bad. So I'm trying to cover it because it was exposed. It was Probably like one of the worst times I've ever broken my nail. Like, imagine Stop, the middle even, of your nail you don't even just snap. Oh. Yeah, it was, it's not and good. And it's so sad because these are, these are actually my real nails. Okay, and so when you break a nail, it's really sad because you work so hard growing it. Oof, That's how I painful. feel. And it, and it hurt really bad. Well, Casey is back <sighs> in the vlog and we are back together. 
I feel like I haven't been in the vlogs in forever. It's been, it's been a while. Again, I I think I forgot how to do it. The duo's back. The duo. What? Side note, all Casey is going to go check the mail for the third time. I've discovered, <laughs> in like the the time I've been living in my house, there's always somebody doing yard work, all the time. Not like it's I'm complaining. I'm just like you know, giving you my my f first impressions. I guess you could say everyone's always doing yard work, so it's always like or like someone constantly like blowing the grass. <laughs> She's checking every mailbox. I already did that. Well, at least we. We think alike. Oh, I'm so sad. Hopefully we get her makeup. It's Natia. She looks so good. Look at Casey. Look how beautiful she is. Ooh, ooh. I, I did that too. I checked everyone. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys might be familiar with Celebration, but this is going to be like our first like full-blown Celebration vlog. Is of, it? Yeah, I think so. Like actually like a full video of uh, just us together and doing what Celebration has to offer because we've yeah. never really done what we're doing as residents. Mm -hmm. You that know? Is, yeah. Like this is our it's first time. True, yeah. Food trucks, we wanted to do this. Like this, they have like, they have a calendar. I don't know where if you guys have like a community where like every day there's something. Mm -hmm. There's something always going on in celebration. Like tomorrow we're gonna yeah. be, or Sunday, we're going to the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. There's food trucks. I don't know if it's every week. No, I think they do it twice a month. There's something like that. They do have a celebration magazine. So we get one in the mail, like I guess once a month. Yeah, we do. Um, but what we finally decided to do is put that calendar on our fridge so that we don't forget about all the events. It's been fun. And I here we like are. They have some really cool things. I know later this month they have a luau. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot line. about that. And I just like, what other community in Florida does this? There's also like, like pickleball every day. Oh yeah, they pickleball have a every day. pickleball and tennis. It's a huge deal in celebration. That'd be so fun if we did pickleball, but we can't because it's in the morning in case he goes to. Yeah, I go to work. She goes to work, which is fine, you know. Yeah. Whew, this is getting heavy to hold for a minute and a half. But welcome to downtown celebration. Let's go see what we do. We're getting dinner, food trucks. Can we? Oh. Look at Mr. Squirrely. Also, you see this? Everybody goes around on these. I know Adam Lou has one too. He's also a resident. I really want to get one, but I kind of have a convertible, so it's kind of useless to, to get one of those, you know? We just heard like a really loud bang and scary. automatic thought. It's like, it's a gunshot, but this is a celebration. Like nothing like that happens. I think it was just oh, like, a, like a loud, I, I know anywhere. anywhere. Like, celebration is really safe. They have pickleball over there. Everyone plays pickleball. <laughs> It was a little scary at first, but I don't think it was anything. Also, y'all, if I can get this to focus, check out our weather. Look at that. 50s. It's, like, perfect. I think this is going to be, like, the last cool down before it gets to be summer and disgusting out. Casey, I didn't tell you, but I actually have a surprise for you. Yeah, I do. What? Close your eyes. It's that over there. Look to your right. No, your left. Yeah. It's yours. It's mine? Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> no, that's cool though. That's great. That, if you had one, that would be yours right there. Well, here we go. Welcome to Market Street. I don't know where the food trucks are. I think they're gonna be in like the corner, I think Casey said, by the tennis. I thought they were gonna be on the main street, which would have been nice. That would have been cool. Well, I've, I've only done this once before and I remember being by the tennis court, it's kind of tucked back, so. This street does close on Sundays for the farmer's market, but I'm sure Friday night they don't want to block as much business here. I totally forgot the corner, the Market Street Cornerstone is closed. This would be cool. Do you think maybe we should start a business? Yeah. Imagine that. I mean, food would be hard, but. Let's do a coffee shop. Is there a coffee shop here, Starbucks? We have yeah. Starbucks, but we could be the competitors. <laughs> yeah. Seems relatively quiet today, it's nice. It could be KC Coffee. Casey's Corner Coffee. Like Casey's K C for Kyle Casey Coffee. KC, I dig it. KC Coffee Corner. You're a superstar. I can't get over this outfit. It looks so good. It's, it's a t-shirt and jeans. I know, but you rock it. Thank you. Do you want to go to one of these shops right now? Uh, do you want to go eat first and then come back? Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Let's go across the street. Ooh, nice Porsche. Um, Today is kind of all about like 
the chill vibe. Oh, there's a Ferrari over there. <laughs> you see that? No Oof, check this bad boy out. That is a uh, sexy car. Ferrari. This has got to be what, two or three hundred thousand? Something. That's super nice. I feel at this hour, Casey and I usually don't stumble here. We're usually here at a little bit later, seven or eight. So about like an hour and a half. And so when we're usually here, it's very calm, quiet. And obviously look at that. They used to have like those scooters you could rent, like the bird scooters down here during COVID. But I feel like a lot of the people didn't like that because a lot of tourists would come here and it probably wasn't the safest thing. I do kind of miss them though, because those were yeah. those were fun. I just remember like all across celebration, there were just random bikes. They also, yeah, they had bikes and scooters, but the bikes I think were only for downtown. I don't know. I don't know either. Don't know. They used to have boats too. That'd be kind of cool because there's a dock right here that they no longer have. That would have been cool to have. We need to bring the movie theater back. Oh, the this, movie theater would be this nice. This building has been vacant for years and years. Let's go show them. Oh, I see the food trucks. Isn't it cool? Oh my gosh, that, there's a lot of people there. Yeah, the food truck Fridays was, are legit, and I can't believe it took us this long to actually get here and do this. Together. Holy cow! Yeah, I cool. think last We're, time I had some like hibachi. Like they go all out. There's they're gonna have some probably lobster. I remember them having Maine lobster last time. I don't know if you want would, that from a food truck. I would truck, totally get that. It'd be really nice if they had this movie theater. Maybe we should buy a movie theater. You know what? I th get really fun. You know what would be even better actually in this? What? Let me get a little bit closer. So instead of this being a movie theater, I'd like to rent this out seasonally and build a haunted house in here. That would actually be really cool. For as like nice as celebration is, it's crazy that they haven't brought this back. Like, it's very strange for something to be vacant. Let's take a peek inside. Huh. It's ready to go. Honestly, it is. Like, it just needs a little bit of sprucing and, like... Look how dusty it is on those countertops. Wow. See that? I'm sure, like, the theater itself needs an upgrade, too, with the sound system, but... I feel like even just out here, leaving it the way it is, is it, it looks so nostalgic. Like, it just... I can, I can agree to that one. It just, like, brings me back to my youth. Why is there so <laughs> many fire extinguishers in there? You know? I don't know. All right. Let's go see this food truck vibe. Food truck Friday. How neat, we're one with the town we live at. Let's go enjoy their community and see what they have to offer here. It's nice, I don't even know who designs or like does this, but thank you, it's cool. The committee? Everybody has dogs. Oh, look at the Dalmatian. I want a dog. Oh, Wait, where's the dog? Oh, he's so cute. Nate has a Dalmatian. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. What's the plan? Okay, game plan is you have to go and look at all the food trucks first before you decide where you're gonna eat. Okay. We also do not need to eat the same thing. We, you know, get what we want. Okay, sounds like a good yeah. plan. Let's go, cool. I say I say we start from the Wait, back. we gotta do over here, why? I don't know, it just seems more fun to go in. You can't see all the food. Well, then you come out to the front. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. All right, we, we got a burger place. Ooh, what is this? Eat and wash? We got the uh, arepas. No, oh, no, this one with Mike and Casey, we got Vietnamese food truck. There's actually way more people here than I thought there would be. It's, it's kind of like a fair, it's exciting. I think we're gonna have to come to this donut place for dessert. Ooh, we've got pasta in Casey's head. <laughs> we got mac and cheese. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we ain't dieting tonight, I'll tell you that. Back on the cruise ship diet. Ooh, we got ice cream, but I feel like I'm feeling more donuts tonight. They have crepes. <laughs> I might need like a dessert crepe instead of donuts. Maybe I, you can get a crepe and you can get donuts with the shit. I think that would be great. We got a Latino food truck. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we got smoothies. We just ran on into a couple of you guys in front of the taco trunk here. Taco, see you later. Good old tacos, this is really popular. We don't know what you want. Well, Casey, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? I'm struggling because everything sounds good, but I don't know. 
Tacos sound good, but I don't think that's what I'm gonna go for. Although this is the longest line, so it must be the best. Yeah, it's true. Or just tacos. Who doesn't love tacos? So maybe it's not the best. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a safe bet. Look at this bike. I feel like you see like the coolest stuff in this city. It's an electric bike. They even put, we, we thought we were gonna have a picnic. I think we still may have a picnic, but they also have some nice little chairs and tables for us to eat here. They are also doing live music out here on the lawn. So you can go get your food and then bring it over here at the tables and listen to some nice music. On a side note, this just really feels kind of cool. I know you guys might do this all the time, but this is like one of the first activities that we've personally done here since living here and it's, yeah, I feel one with the community, it's nice. All right, I don't even know what I want, but we'll figure something, look at all these scooters. Welcome to Florida. Welcome to Celebration. Celebration. <laughs> I think I missed this before, but they also have a pizza place. Casey might get a slice. No, oh, we're both really indecisive. Look good. Oh, these burgers look really good. Look, they even have a messy burger, you know, after the world's greatest cricket player. Crazy, so cool. Except they have no calories. These are probably a ton of calories. A $30 burger though, that's crazy. Babe, should I get the messy burger? That looks unreal. It's 20 ounces, oh my gosh. Y'all, yeah, listen up, we had one rule coming here. Casey, what was that one rule? No, it wasn't that we had to get something different, it was that we could get something different. And both of us are, even though like coming into tonight, I was like, I don't want a burger, I really don't. Looking at these pictures of the burgers, they look so good. And now all of a sudden, I would I would kill for a burger. So we might both get a burger. 50 bucks for my, wait till you see my cheeseburger. Not for just your yeah, cheeseburger. Not for just mine. It was totally like, I think 44, but then we tipped. Yeah. Um, my yours, cheese. Yours alone was $24 though, because yours is massive. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <but> yeah. <laughs> I got a smaller, I got a five ounce, which is a single patty, and I'm only doing that because I want to get dessert. I think we're going to be splitting dessert, honestly. Yeah, we are, for sure. Wait, splitting it? Like, yeah, meaning oh. like just getting one. Oh. I, well, I, I'm just kidding, that's fine. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Well, hear me out. This burger, if I eat it all, is a ton of calories, which I'm probably not yeah. going to eat all. It's, wait till you see it, it's insane. And I think one dessert will be fine. You're probably right, because I, but are you okay with what I want? Because I really want what That's fine. Right. I don't even know what you want. We'll find out. But hey, okay. this is cool. cool. We're having a perfect picnic. Lito's Burger is what we're doing. Food has arrived. Mine, I swear, weighs like five pounds. It took us a while to, to find a spot, but we found a bench here. Wait till you see this burger. It has three patties. Oh, is this 15 ounces? Yep. Five ounces each patty. The reason why I got this one is because there's like cheese, more cheese. Oh, that's deadly. Wow, mm. nothing like eating straight butter. <laughs> is that a butter burger? Mm, that's a butter burger. It tastes like a Culver's burger, but better. Look at this, guys. Look how thick that is. I'm not going to eat this all just for my health. Maybe a couple more bites and we eat this over time. It'd be nice to have a dog and feed them the patty. <laughs> that is a really good burger. I got the bacon cheese one. It's so just bacon cheese, there's no other toppings. Um, it's really good. I like how it's very charred. I like that grill flavor. For the record, I could eat this whole thing. I don't think I've ever had a bad food truck. We gotta do this like every month. This might be like a monthly thing. What if like they all live the same and we try a different one every time? I feel like that'd be nice. This is probably the best burger I've had in a while. If you guys have been on the channel, this is as close as a burger you'll get to that's on Carnival's Mardi Gras. Those Guy Fieri burgers were just as good as this. Bravo to food trucks. I think we're both gonna get our own desserts. I'm gonna get donuts and she's gonna get a crepe. Mm -hmm. We're feasting. Hey, you know what? That's what you do when it's food truck Friday, baby. Ooh, baby. I don't know if you guys saw this, but they're doing like these Marvel characters on Coke now. And if you scan it and add it to like the QR app, right. it, it does right something. Here. Right here. So it's no app. You gotta Am scan it like it right? this somehow. Oh, this is not working. Well, we tried to do it. It didn't work for us. So I don't know, try to scan a Coke can and see what happens. It wasn't working for us, yeah. unfortunately. It seems like you need to match it up perfectly. And I feel like both of us were really shaky. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> I'm here at the donuts. I think we're gonna get the hot mini donuts, but I like how they have a window so you can actually see them 
like frying and making the donuts. Look at that, y'all. That's our dessert. They're literally making it fresh right now. Oh, Casey's here. What we get? I got strawberry, banana, and Nutella, and it smells fantastic. It looks like the Icon ones. It does. I mean, the crepes, same thing, but. Yes. But, I love a good. Oh, wait, oh no. <laughs> Babe, you got I got chocolate on you guys. <laughs> I literally just took half of Casey's chocolate. It's now on the camera lens, but hey, it's okay. The evidence. We got the donuts though. They Strawberry look and smell shortcake. Amazing. Yeah, fresh They're donuts. Really hot. They're hot. Oh my gosh. These are some of the best donuts I've ever had in my life. Mm. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Tastes like a funnel cake. That's mm. a, yeah. This was the best decision I think we ever had for for a, a night and a vlog. Baby, you're glowing right now with that sunset. I think it's I'm glowing because it's so good. <laughs> My, There's two reasons why you're glowing. <laughs> As the sun is setting, uh, the band was playing. It's five o'clock somewhere, and um, the first time I heard that song was on the Margaritaville at Sea cruise, and it reminds me of that cruise ship. But rest in peace, rest in peace, Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> rest in poof. I think Case wants to go in to one of these shops. If you've guessed she wants to buy a pillow, then you are right. Because she wants to buy a pillow, I think. Which one? I don't know, we'll have to find out. Look at all of them pillows. It's a lot. Gotta get an official celebration pillow now, right? Look at this. That's cool. That's our zip code. There's usually a lot of people in here, but we have the whole place to ourselves. Got the pillow. We're gonna let Casey take over the vlog to show you what she wants to do with it, but this is one of our, our shops. We'd like to come and just see what they have. They always have something different. It's the Market Street Gallery. This place is poppin' during the holidays. There's no place like celebration. There's no place like celebration. There's no place like celebration. Okay, Toto. <laughs> Obviously it is. What is that bird up there? Is that a, what is that thing? Oh, that's one of the ones that swim. Oh, those things are so gnarly. Yeah. A lot of weird animal life here. Oh my gosh, guys, we have an, Casey has an update for you. I'll we let her, I'll let her tell you the, the story about the, the package. Our lovely next door neighbor just delivered my Sephora package to the front door. So it must have gone in his locker or to his front door. But we just, I got like a notification on the doorbell and he brought it and I'm so excited. I can go home and do an unboxing. That's okay. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I didn't realize we parked really far. What? Yeah. I did not realize that either. <laughs> oh, what a night. There is not a cloud in sight. Quick little, hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Quick little Publix run. We need half and half and eggs for tomorrow morning. I guess we got more than what we needed. She got BOGOs. Okay, this is this is how my, my dad taught me how to shop. You gotta shop at Publix for the BOGOs because otherwise Publix is very expensive. So when you get the BOGOs, you get a good deal. That's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. There's the box. <laughs> there you go. Wait, that's really pretty small. I feel like I ordered a lot more than that. No time. <laughs> I, I think now we know if there's a box missing. Just wait, it'll show up. Chocolate, no way. <laughs> oh, here's everything Casey lost, but now has been found. We did it. We did it. Hooray. We did it, hooray. We did it, we did it. Do, do, do. Do you have fun tonight? I had such a great night. Honestly, I love a good celebration moment. I think we live in, well, I know we live in such a beautiful place and I feel very grateful. And doing little events around town just makes me even more excited and happy that I live here. Oh, where's the pillow? Where are we putting that? Oh. I think we should put it outside. 
I think that's an outside pillow. We already, there's too many on the couch. That's a nice I know, outside. This technically is not an outdoor pillow, but we could scotch guard it and hope for the best. I think it's nice. That's why I don't like Well, everybody, um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Very different from the content that um, I usually post, but I think it was very much needed and it was really fun. And Casey's back on the vlogs. We're gonna have two more days with her. Two more days. Two more days. We get her the whole weekend, guys. We get her the whole weekend. If you don't like me, I'm really sorry. <laughs> yeah. You're on the just wrong don't channel. Don't watch the next two days. Or just don't subscribe. <laughs> um, you know something cool? Look at this. We've had this balloon for the longest time, and it's slowly been creeping its way. We're wondering when it's gonna lose helium. So far, it, it hasn't, but we'll see you guys tomorrow. We got work to do tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yes, we do. Bye-bye.